Hi, welcome back. On the last video, we learned how to add properties to our classes and how to use those properties with our instances and using methods. Now, we also learned how to reference the car class or any class by using the word or the keyword called this. We had a lot of fun on the last video. I hope you did because I did. Now, on this video, we are going to be learning how to what? Do you know the title? We are going to be learning about inheritance, all right? Now, you got to pay a lot of attention to this this uh, video here because inheritance is something super important in OOP, Object Oriented Programming, all right? So, when we deal with classes, we can we know that we can use the properties inside of the class with other methods and we can use all the functionalities of this class with the methods right within the methods now you know that we can also create different classes so anyway before we do that let's go ahead and do a save as before I get into any more uh, deeper than what I'm getting right now because I want to show you visually what I'm trying to do so c class let's call this Let's do a save as on this and call it class inheritance. Inherit inheritance. I think I'm trying to inheritance. There we go. I think I'm I I'm, I think I got it right. If this is a keyword there that I don't use that much. All right, I don't use the word inheritance, but <laughs> anyways, so so now we have a car class right here. I tell you what, let's create another class. How about that? Let's delete all this. Let's delete all of it. And let's go down here and create another class. So I'm going to create another class called class. And what I want to create another class called plane. Let's create a plane. Why not? Right? All right. Perfect. Now, we can also, let's, let's do something here. All right. Well, let's first let's check if this class exists right how many classes do we have if class let's just use this method class exists and let's just find out right plain actually we need to capitalize this all right remember that and then we need to plain put the class class naming here and we're just gonna echo it does just to make sure that is everything is working as expected it does all right so we know that it does exist all right perfect all right so we have a this new class here going on let me just actually comment this out so that way you can use that if you want so now what this class inheritance topic is, is that we can use another class and inherit everything that this class has. Its properties, its methods, and everything else that we have inside, right? Right now we just have properties and methods. So let's go ahead and use a word that is going to extend, it's going to inherit everything. So the key word is class plan, plain extends. This is the keyword extends. There we go. Car. That's it. Now we have all this functionality inside this new class. Don't believe me? It's very simple to prove it. Let's let's go ahead and instantiate this new class. All right? How about that? So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to say jet. All right? Jet new plane because that's this is the new we got to instantiate this class, right? So now I could say this plane, right? Of course, it's a silly class, but this new plane has how many wheels? Well, let's echo that first, right? Echo wheels. So let's see that. Oh, look at that. We have four wheels on this new, and let me just comment this out so you know that that's the one that we are using as you can see here so it it inherited wheels here for right and look at this let's use a method why not let's use this method here and see what 
what it does. So let's go ahead and use that. Let's do jet and call the method. Change the wheels to 10. Look at that. We can even use the methods of the, of the, of the class, right? Perfect. So you see that I didn't put anything here. This class is empty right now. The best thing about it is that I can come here inside this class and I could say, you know what? I want these wheels now to be a different value. How about that? So let's, let's do that. Let's change that. Let's change these wheels to 20 now. And of course, let's just take that out. And as you can see here, right? We change it to 20. So what we can do is we can override its parent, right? Because this is a parent, right? Its parent's value. We can, well, whatever we inheriting, we can come back, come down to the children class, right? And change the value of it. We can override it. We can even override this one. We can override methods. We can override whatever we want. We can create another method that will override this one. I mean, there's no limit on the things that we can do here. All right, so know that we can do that now. So anyways, I hope, I'm going to make this video short. I'm not going to make it too long. So I hope you were able to to gra grasp this concept of class inheritance because it is very important and we will be using it a lot since it's really useful to do that. Think about it. You don't, you have all these classes, all of these properties and methods inside a class and you can just create another class and have all this functionality working right there in that class, in that new class. Right? Perfect. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video and hopefully you learn something good from this one and you can grasp, grasp the concept. <laughs> All right, take care.